It's St. Patrick's Day today. We are celebrating my name, the best name in the universe. It's because of my mustache. I'm going to talk about someone who is green. The Incredible Hulk. Because like he is green, he, he represents St. Patrick's Day. Hello, I'm Hardman Canada and I can speak with my telepathic power because of my mustache. There is one question I was wondering since I was a child. This is Hulk and this is Nako. They are known for their superhuman strength. But if they fight, who will win? In the universe of Marvel, Hulk is the strongest character. In the universe of Sega, Knuckles is the strongest character. Because of my mustache, I will compare these two characters. They have many similarities. In the universe of Sega, Knuckles is considered to be the strongest man in the world in terms of physical strength. We often say that Knuckles' strength is equal to Sonic's speed, who is considered the fastest thing alive in his universe. Knuckles' punch is extremely strong. His, this is one of Knuckles' quotation: "No one can match the powers of my fist." But some people will say that some bad guys are physically stronger than Knuckles, like Metal Knuckles, who was created to be stronger than him. No, no and no. Knuckle is stronger than enemy, stronger than him, and I will explain it later. In the universe of Marvel, Hulk is considered to be the strongest man in the world in terms of physical strength. No one in No one is stronger than the Hulk. Hulk's legs Hulk's leg is so strong that he can jump very high into the air. This is one of Hulk's quotation. Hulk is the strongest there is. But some people will say some enemies is stronger than the Hulk like the Abomination. No, no and no. Just like Knuckles, Hulk is stronger than opponents stronger than him and I will explain it later. In the universe of Marvel, there is 100 class of superhuman strength. One is the minimum and 100 is the maximum. It represents the number of tons a character can lift. There is many versions of Knuckles, the video games, the comic book and the anime. The weakest version of Knuckles is a class 80 and the strongest version of him is a class 100. And there is many versions of the Hulk, the video game, the comic book, the cartoon and the movies. The weakest version of the Hulk is a class 75 and the strongest version of the Hulk is a class 100. To put this in perspective, the weight of a normal car is about 2 tons and the weight of a normal elephant can go up to 7 tons. Hulk can Knuckle can surpass their limit of class 100 and they can lift millions of tons. Knuckle is so strong that he can break giant rocks as if it was paper. Hulk is so strong that he can create a shockwave just by clapping his hands. Knuckle is so strong that he his punch can break atoms in the air and create a chemical reaction that can cause fire. In the presence of hydrogen, his punch will get stronger. Hulk and Knuckle have superhuman endurance. They can survive attacks that can kill a normal person. But Hulk's endurance is superior. Knuckle's fighting abilities are superior than the Hulk. Knuckle practice martial arts. Hulk have a hard time fighting people good with martial art, and that's why Captain America, a superhero with no superpowers, can beat 
the Herc. It may not look like it, but Herc is very, very intelligent. It was confirmed in the manner of this game. Knuckles have a hard time fighting against intelligent opponents who use strategy. That's why Tails is able to beat Knuckles. It's like Batman, who, who is able to beat Superman, the strongest character in DC Universe, because of his intelligence. Just like Captain America, Batman have no superpowers. Knuckles possess superhuman speed. He can run up to 643 km per hour. With his speed, he can evade attack from enemies slower than him. Herc can surpass his limit to beat opponents stronger than him. For example, Abomination is stronger than the Herc and he, he has the advantage in the beginning of a fight but when Herc gets mad, he will get stronger and he can beat Abomination. Nagger can also surpass his limits. For example, the Yellow Metal Rex, a giant man, was stronger than Knuckle and he had the advantage in the beginning of the fight. But when he tried to kill his friend, Knuckle became stronger than him and he flew him as if he was nothing. That bad guy never lost a fight until he met Knuckles. When Knuckle fight for his friends, Knuckle will get stronger. Her can break indestructible objects. He broke Wolverine's indestructible skeleton and he broke Dr. Doom's indestructible shield. Knuckle can also break indestructible objects like the indestructible armor of the yellow metal legs that can resist missiles. By the way, Dokolo Kolo, my guardian angel, did not return my guitar hero gu guitar that I landed him two years ago. Hey, Dokolo Kolo, it's time that you give me my guitar back. What did you say? You should learn how to share. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I, I will leave you alone. Relax, relax. Whoa. Selfish man. Herc is so strong that when he's controlled by a bad guy, he is capable of defeating all of his friends. Even Thor wasn't able to defeat him. Knuckle is so strong that when he is controlled by a bad guy, he is capable of defeating all of his friends. Even Shadow that removed his bracelet wasn't able to stop him. Knuckle possesses a super transformation. When Knuckle transforms into Super Knuckles, he is faster, his endurance increases, and he is 1000 times stronger. I also he also have an alternate version of a super form where he activate a super shield. But he can only stay in a super form for a limited amount of time. In, in Naka super form, he can lift between 100,000 tons and 1 million tons. Herc don't really have a super transformation, but when he absorbs enough gamma energy, his strength reach another level where he is faster, more and more resistance. And in that form, he is so strong that he can lift billions of tons. You heard me, I didn't say million, I said billion. But he can only stay that strong for a limited amount of time. But he has a weakness. When he, reach, when he receives too much damage, he will transform back into his human form where he is very vulnerable. Knuckle have another level of super transformation called Hyper Knuckles. It's like Goku becoming into a Super Saiyan 2. In this form, Knuckles strength is immeasurable and he can create 
earthquake. He can breathe in space and underwater. He is practically invulnerable. Hypernacles is a superior version of supernac. No, hypernacle is superior to supernacles. Like Knacker wasn't strong enough already, he have another super transformation called Chaos Knacker. He turned into a living Chaos Emerald, and he can teleport, he can travel in time, and his physical strength can reach infinity. Yes, I said infinity. If he dies, he can come back to life. It's like Goku turning into a Super Saiyan 3. Most opponents who fight against Knuckle realize that they can't beat him in a hand-to-hand -hand fight. In the, comic, in the comic book of Mega Man vs Sonic, Knuckle was fighting against Stone Man and Concrete Man and they say to Knuckle, they say that Knuckle is stronger than God's Man who is known for his superhuman strength. Here's some spectacular things Knuckle and Hulk done. Hulk, lift, Hulk defeated a Bigfoot. Knuckle lifting a factory that weighs millions of tons. Hulk lifting New York City. Hulk lifting a mountain that weighs billions of tons. Hulk destroying a meteorite two times the size of the planet Earth and Knuckle pushing the moon. I would like to know your opinion. If Hulk can Knuckle fight, who would win?